12,000 years and a mile of melted ice have gone into this vast blue wilderness that we call Lake Michigan. It surrounds Wisconsin's Door Peninsula, creating bays, harbors, and estuaries, and arguably some of the best sea kayaking in the Great Lakes. Water in itself creates a whole sense of exploration and relaxation. It allows you to discover different colors. The, the water one day you can see clearly, and other days, though you can't tell where the water ends and the sky begins. I just, honestly, I'd, I'd much rather be in the water than land, and it's, uh, and if, you know, it's really neat because up here you can go over the bay, it's a little bit warmer, you can stay in the lake, it's a little bit more cool, but it's that, you know, we got four months of this, you better appreciate it. I just love that feeling of my boat slicing through the water smoothly. Uh, you can see the, the rocks underneath you and always a new sight. Uh, you, if you paddle place a couple of times, you start to learn what lives there and what you can expect to see. get out on the lake and it's quiet and there's no there's no traffic there's no there's no noise it's just you and your boat out in the water and you can go along this picturesque shoreline the, the bluffs of Eagle Harbor you know it's a 150 foot tall bluff that no one really gets to see yeah. unless you're on a boat and uh, if you're in a kayak you can take your time There's a lot of times the water clarity next to shore is awesome and you can see the cliffs below the water easily when you're, on, when you're in your kayak. You can also get further out into the water and you can see the outline of the peninsula not only above but below. I spent a lot of time on the land of the county and you have a way that you think it looks. And then when you can get away from the land, you really get an interesting perspective on how all of the towns are in valleys. Uh, and being able to see that from the water is really interesting. And if you go paddle on the lakeside, it's completely different shoreline. You get a nice little tailwind and you just kind of sail along the coast and you can see the wonderful uh, uh, limestone dolomite rock formations along the coast. And it's really cool if you get the perfect wind in Cave Point, it blows off the rock and it makes this like echoing sound out there. So it's not only just the visual that you get out in the lake, which is, it's, it's awesome, but it's also just, you know, the sound of being out there. I like it because, yeah, you have Cave Point, then you have whitefish dunes. So you have a lot of natural area there. You get into Whitefish Bay and you come around the bend and it just opens up as a two mile stretch of white sand beach. You know, you can coast along in that bay yeah. and it's about five feet deep and it's crystal clear waters. And uh, it, you know, you just you look at the beautiful sand dunes and you're thinking, you know, I didn't, I never, you know, you never would have seen the dunes yeah. like that from the shore. Door County in general, it's nice to paddle here because you can always find somewhere calm in any wind conditions. So based on the wind conditions, you could be on the lakeside, you could be on the bayside, and you can have a calm water experience. You can go in the inland creeks and rivers and lakes and see more of nature, the deer, the, the ducks, the waterfowl. It's also sort of the beauty of it because there's bound to be somewhere that's nice, Yeah. generally. Like if some place is terrible, like one side's terrible, really wavy, can't get out. The other side's probably really nice, or there's somewhere that's oriented uh, away where the wind is not hitting it. So yeah, there's generally a good spot to go almost every day. Every time I go out, it's a different experience. I can go to the same place five different times based on the season, the temperatures, the wind conditions. It's different every time. It's not like there's a bad place. There's 300 miles of coastline, so just about anywhere in Door County. 
is a fantastic place to go kayaking. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I, you know, just how amazing the lakes are. There's, there's only one Great Lakes, you know, and there's inland lakes all over. But what we have up here, we we are really we're really fortunate, you know, and uh, I, I never take that for granted. It is a great paddling destination, honestly, one of the best. Okay.